chickens for beginners. I'm gonna summarize a bit more what I said before. I would get a large coop and put two chickens in it and then see what happens. If you don't like what you're doing, you could just burn the whole thing down and uh, you know, you're done. And then just toss the wire. It's not that hard. Uh, the chickens are actually great. They take care of themselves. Ducks do not take care of themselves. Chickens are kind of like cats. Throw out some food, put some litter in there and they're good. If you are keeping chickens, if you have like two chickens for a coop like this, this is about a, oh man, I'm gonna say it's a maybe six by 10. And if you only had two in here, they would be, I'm sure they would be fine because there's just so much space and they can poop everywhere. And there's, you know, laying boxes. I got this one from Cherokee Feed and Seed and you can buy them from anywhere. It, is, it does have wheels so you can move it around, but it is so heavy that you cannot move it around. So I would just find a place and plop it down. I would put stones down on the bottom like, so that the, the, the boards are getting warped a bit. That way you could uh, keep it off the ground. But chickens, yes. D ducks, no. Chickens do hide from predators. They'll keep one eye out. I got too many roosters and the roosters actually do a pretty good job right now of, of saying like, what's what and what's happening. And so the chicken or the hens will hide, but I do have to harvest some of those roosters. If you don't know this, then it's kind of funny, but it makes sense. When you take eggs and fertilize them and uh, incubate them, 50% of the time, it's a rooster. <laughs> so if you want like 10 hens, you better do 40 eggs to make sure you get actually 10 hens or maybe 20 eggs. And you will have to do something with the roosters. You can't really give them away. Nobody wants them. So raise them, eat them, I guess. Uh, you need about 10 hens for every one rooster in, so that they don't get beat up. The, their claws will poke right into the back of the hens and they grab on by the, the back of their feathers on their head. So they just get really worn out because chickens are a lot like rabbits. They are just breeding all the time. It doesn't have to be as complicated as most people make it. Just get two, see what happens. I wouldn't do one because I do, I think... I don't know. You could do one. I mean, be heartless. Sure, just do one. It's not a pet. It's a thing that produces eggs. But I think if you did two, they are kind of social. They do have pecking orders. Someone wants to be the boss. Two would probably be smarter. And two would give you an egg every day. They don't lay eggs every day. It's kind of like 36 hours or something. So two would give you an egg every day. And you could give them your food scraps and they will eat everything. You don't need to be very sophisticated on the food. So if you see over here, I've got uh, our, our old soccer tent um, covering some food. So I just got bucket up there, but I also just have this base from, I think it was a plant and I throw food in that as well. And they'll eat, they, they really don't care. The main thing is just don't get it wet. If you're giving them uh, store food, you just don't want it wet. This stuff, obviously it was wet, so who cares? And they've already eaten it down pretty far. Store food, you don't want to get it wet because it will start getting moldy pretty quick. Um, <clears throat> you could get one of these small coops from Omelette. Uh, I don't think it's enough room. Two would be okay, but if they were cooped in there, cooped, that's pretty funny. I guess that's what it means. If they were cooped in there the whole time, I think it would be pretty tough on them. This thing was meant to be rolled so you could like take it around your, your property and have them poop. I just find this really irritating and tough to do. I think if I was going into chickens for the very first time, brand new, I would just get two and a coop and see what happens. I wouldn't really worry about them being mobile and all that. If you're in an HOA protected neighborhood, that might get a little bit risky because they are loud. As a matter of fact, I've got a new chicken. Let's see if I can go. She run, yeah, she's already running. So one of my buddies had me come over and catch a hen and uh, somebody had them in their neighborhood but they got out because they will jump fences and um, they didn't want them back because now they were gonna get in trouble <laughs> so I went over and picked them up uh, it doesn't have to be hard throw down your questions I will be happy to answer them keep them protected from the wind or give them a place to go if it does get pretty windy and make sure they have food and water so if you look in here I've actually dangled the food from uh, no, nope, stuck. Yep. Dangled the food from a strap at the top. So I haven't been using this. I've been using 
the food bucket or the my food and um, it's been going pretty good but dangle the food so that they don't kick too much stuff you can even see here they kick stuff in it they just scratch everywhere right so i probably would have i probably should have this about head high but i also have um chicks come in here so i had to keep it low but i i should well it's i could i could obviously raise it and i would do water the same way just put it in here and raise it up that way they don't get it dirty all the time give them food and water chickens are pretty good they don't usually uh, well if you were to put it like over the roost they will totally poop in it if it's on the ground they'll jump on it and poop in it but if it's on this wire then it's wiggly and they don't like that and they will not poop in it so keeping it off the ground and keeping it suspended will keep it a whole lot cleaner and just you don't have to do as much um this particular coop also has a pretty decent inside area you can see on this roosting bar you know they face one, one direction usually and poop all over it and it's got its nesting boxes chickens are great these guys free range but they come back to put eggs in the uh, nesting box because it's just what they do it's like cats in a litter box they're like yes i would like to use that i do have some oyster shell in here if they feel like they want some more calcium or whatever uh, and they have access to all the grit they want to put in the gizzard so you got one duck over here eating away anyway it is interesting it is fun uh to see to tackle the problems they do die it happens i know some people treat them like pets one we had one that was injured i don't somehow i don't know if it broke its foot or something happened maybe it survived an attack and my kids are like hey you taking them to the vet and i'm like yeah sure no i'm not taking them to the vet so it's a chicken so he became uh food for actually i think i hmm I don't think I actually fed that one to anybody because he was hurt. So I just put him down and um, we buried him into the garden. But the roosters, because they're free range, they're really tough. If I was to box them up and not let them move around, I think it would be easier. So their meat is really tough. I usually don't eat my own chickens. What I'll do is process them and then uh, give it to the dogs. And cooked chicken, I guess, is different than live chicken. So they're not really coming after our chickens.